Hello guys, my name is Biscuit and welcome back to my channel or if you're here for the very first time, welcome in. Today we're gonna react to one of my all-time favorite concerts, let's just call them like this. It's MTV Unplugged. And the band we are checking out is Alice in Chains. The song is called Nutshell. Uh, I just have to say that honestly, I love this MTV Unplugged sessions that's happening. I just feel like you can connect to the artist in such more like such a more intimate way it's just because they seem so vulnerable and what i learned with nirvana and with alice in chains until now is that they put a lot of emotion and a lot of soul and a lot of their own personalities into the writing so we are reacting to that i hope you guys enjoy it and i hope you like the ideas of doing more mtv and plug and if you agree with that, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It's very much appreciated. Now, I do hope this video does not get uh, blocked or, you know, has any copyright issues. If it does, you will see a little bit of like a disclaimer, probably, or, you know, a little bit darker. Or I will just try to bring you this reaction. Without further ado, we should just jump into it and react to it. <laughs> Look at the setting, look at the candles, the acoustic guitar. Oh, this bass sounds amazing. Oh, I love this kind of ring. even start his voice is so ghostingly beautiful i i got a lot of information about the listen chains when i did my down in a hole uh, reaction i'm just i'm just listening and just looking at at things just differently i love the fact that when they introduced when they sorry it's when they started coming on the on the scene on the whatever at their seats they just introduce the instruments bit by bit by bit so i feel like they did that so we can a little bit try to uh, enjoy them i love the bass a lot in this song his voice his vocals his, his, his i think they're called harmonics i don't i don't have the knowledge i'm sorry i can, I, I will just explain from like a, you know normal listener appreciator of, of music it just kind of resonates. I did re read the lyrics beforehand because I did say that I know that their their um, songs are so personal. Um, but hearing them sing it, it's so much more impactful and just so it, it, it just adds so much more volume to it. So I just want to go to back and just enjoy this as much as I can because it's so short. Oh, 
cutting like that right um like i said i did read the lyrics before and this is my own opinion like my own um take on it i i love the part at the end where he said that if i cannot be my own then i'm I'd much rather die basically uh he was mentioning the fight against time and then they're still standing I personally believe that this song is about the his life or their life as a, as you know as a band um as like famous uh being under all of this scrutiny under spotlights needing to feed needing to you know just make everybody happy um and do, having to do this over and over and over again I feel like you just kind of lose a part of yourself and i think this is what what he meant by the last part that he if he cannot be himself then you know what what's the purpose um now there is the instrumentals that i do want to like point out uh, i don't know how you hear it or how the sounds or, or if you like have a speaker on or how, how how you're listening to the song but for me it was a beautiful thing that i just experienced basically i had a uh, jerry's guitar on my right side of you know here and then i had here this not the bass the second acoustic the second acoustic guitar that like just kept the rhythm i think that's maybe the rhythmic guitar i don't know exactly all the terms and then the bass was just all over the place and it was so beautiful with the with the with the cracking voice with emotion with <sighs> i think it was just a roller coaster of a song um Unfortunately, I believe that because of my interpretation, this song is very relatable for most of us, especially for people that work into like social media and they always need to put up with like a facade, you know, they just need to always look happy or always look broken or, you know, just always need to keep that impression that people have about them. Um, this is something we don't do on my channel. You will see me happy, you will see me sad, you will see me cry, you will see me just be myself. Um, you will see me broken and, and, and sometimes you'll, you'll hear me laugh until I, I break your ears. Sometimes I will cry so hard that my, my face will look like a pandas or like a raccoon and that, that's okay. Um, my thought to you is to be who you are, fight against what makes you sad and angry and, and just keep on through it uh unfortunately i do 
I don't know what happened to 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 him, and I know I I know I read what he's been through, and it's heartbreaking, especially when you are like I said reacting to like an MTV unplugged, which in my opinion is so intimate and it's so so exposed. So I do I do enjoy this concert so much. Uh, I would like to know what is your favorite performance from an NTV Unplug session. Until now, me personally, I did Nirvana, Alice in Chains, and Pearl Jam. Um, I, they're all so great, so great bands and everything. If you have any other recommendations from an MTV Unplug video, I would love to know it. I would love to react to it. Let me know. And as well, please let me know your favorite. Like, I, w- I would want, I, I, I would really, really, really want to know, like, and at the same time, what is your interpretation of the song itself? Do you feel like I was on the right track? Do you have a different opinion? Let me know in the comment section. I'm very curious about that. Uh, if you like the reaction, of course, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It's very much appreciated. And as well, if you want to get to know me, I do stream on Twitch. Uh, I'm live almost almost every day, so you can definitely catch me here. Uh, one person that I did not praise in this video was the drummer. And I'm feeling bad about it right now because I just realized when I mentioned Twitch the other day I was playing VR uh, drum. So I was drumming basically in a VR with the VR drum set. It's so easy to just go like full ballistic on it and just like drum the hell out of it. And it's so difficult to be able to just drum a little bit, just enough. I know how important the drumming are in like uh, songs like it's very important and this is why we need to appreciate the fact that he's managing to let his presence be felt but not overshadow the other instruments this is one thing i learned uh, from you guys so i really appreciate all the intake you guys give me in the comment section hopefully i will see you tomorrow in my next reaction until then have an amazing day and be safe happy and healthy bye bye